This past weekend on Showtime, Emmanuel Rodriguez was able to recapture a Bantamweight world title against Melvin Lopez. But before we get into that, welcome back to All it Takes No Whiffs. I'm Alex, and that's Christian. And Emmanuel Rodriguez completely dominated this fight. Once we bring up the court scorecards, you'll see that. And to be honest, I was really impressed from Rodriguez in this fight. He used his jab very well and pretty much just dominated uh, Melvin Lopez for the entire 12 rounds, even though he probably could not see out of his right eye for half of the fight. Yeah, and honestly, he kind of beat Lopez with one eye. So, not beat, dominated, excuse me. So, honestly, that's just a testament, I feel like, to the skill gap between these two guys, levels at the end of the day. Not that Lopez ever made it competitive, but the fact that Rodriguez was dealing with that, I think that's definitely a credit to him for the fact that he did that and swept all three scorecards plus three knockdowns at the end of the fight. That is a wide-ass scorecard. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, very wide scorecard. And I'm honestly, like I said, was very impressed with how he was able to win this fight pretty much with one eye. The clash of heads there early on in the fight kind of caused with that. And then Melvin Lopez had his moment sometime in this fight where he landed some nice stuff. But like we said, Rodriguez dominated this fight. But in the 12th round right there, Three knockdowns in the last 30 to 45 seconds of the fight. I mean, that was just super impressive. Yeah, that definitely was. Thought he could have gotten him out of there at some points, but just a little too late at the end. I'm pretty sure it was like five seconds left with the third knockdown. So Lopez saying, uh, saved by the final bell, I guess you could say, but still took the L. L for Lopez. Not playing that's out of pocket. But um, yeah, really good showing from Rodriguez. And honestly, I think the – there's definitely a couple of options for him at Bantamweight. Uh, luckily, Naoya Inoue is not one of them because he just moved up. Oh, no, that is very true. But there are some names down there. Uh, he fought Jason Maloney before. Got a split decision with him. Jason Maloney actually just got a Bantamweight world title too, so they could unify right there. And then there's also Alejandro Santiago, who just captured a world title here at Bantamweight when he beat Nonito Donaire a couple weeks ago. So unify against one of those two guys and i can't think of who the other guy is right now um who has the fourth belt in this division but i think he could unify with any of those guys and it'd be a pretty solid fight i'd honestly love to see a rematch versus uh, jason maloney since that fight went to a split decision yeah and that's a unification right there so yeah definitely could get that in the mix and i would have to agree those are definitely like some of the biggest names that probably rodriguez could run into right now like i said doesn't have to worry about Naoya in the way. Who? There's another in way in that weight class though. That's I think kind of a not. Takuma or Takuma or it's. I'm probably saying his name completely wrong. Well, it's T A U M A. I think. Yeah. So that's someone in the comments can help me out. <laughs> yeah, they come through with that all the time. But uh, definitely, really that, that's somebody that Rodriguez could definitely match up with too. That can make for an entertaining fight. But honestly, he's got options. Really good performance from him though. And just a quick mention before we head out of here, Gary Antoine Russell, nasty first round KO against Kent Cruz. Like Alex said, Kent Cruz should not have been in that ring. He shouldn't have been within 50 meters of that ring. And Gary Antoine Russell proved why. So definitely a good performance for him. And we're looking forward to what's next for these guys for sure. If you guys are, definitely hit the subscribe button because, you know, we're going to come through and cover them. And if you would, definitely hit the like button, please. We would appreciate any and all support. Oh, yeah, we appreciate all the support. And go ahead and let us know down in the comments who you want to see Emmanuel Rodriguez fight next to. He's got some pretty good options down there. But until then, peace. Peace.